Hi everyone, I'm Casey Taylor from Achieve Charter Schools up in Paradise. And hey, if we have any charter kids or families who watch this, we just want you to know that we are working around the clock to get school open for you guys as soon as we can. We want to bring you back with your teachers and back with your friends and get back to learning. So you should know that everybody at Achieve Charter School, all your teachers and staff, and all the teachers and staff at the other charter schools in Paradise are fine, and those teachers are thinking about you students, and they're working hard to get you back. So keep reading your books, keep working on your online projects, touch base with your teachers, and we're going to get you back in school as soon as we can. Awesome. And um, I know you live in paradise. I do. Guessing. So if you feel comfortable, could you tell us a little bit about your situation, maybe what happened the day of the fire? So I was actually born in paradise, born and raised in paradise. I love that town so much and is kind of made it my life mission to um, provide different educational opportunities there. And so we were working so, so hard to do that and we got to open up Achieve Charter High School this year. Um, and so it was really, really heartbreaking to see pictures of that high school completely burnt to the ground. Um, the good news is, is we've seen pictures of the K-8 building that I actually attended as a student myself in Paradise. And so that, that building holds a lot of great memories for me just personally. Um, and to see that school still standing uh, brought a glimmer of hope. Also we've seen pictures of Children's Community Charter School, Paradise Charter School, Middle School, and Home Tech Charter. Um, and it looks like those buildings are standing. Of course we won't know until the fire marshal gets in there, but um, they're not burned to the ground and so that's great news which means um, desks and computers and, and kids things are still in there and that um, is makes me feel really happy for everybody because we lost everything but maybe we didn't lose all of the things that are in our schools and so um, that's exciting that morning was really really horrible um, listening to uh, families, my own personal family, trying to get out of town. I was already in Oroville when they were on the phone trying to get through town and so that was really scary. Uh, we're all so thankful that everybody's safe. Um, but the thing that, that really um, concerned a lot of school leaders was later in the afternoon when we still had a number of students who hadn't contacted, had contact with their parents. And so we were really worried about that. So I think all the charter families had made contact and picked up their kids that day that we evacuated um, by later in the afternoon. And that was a huge relief knowing that our students had got out of paradise and reunited with their families.